Hello and welcome along to Eclipse and Motorcycles and I'll be out on a test ride of this 2024 Lexmoto Echo and they come in two colours now, black or grey. So this is the new 2024 version. Great little bike, exactly the same as the old one, 50cc, disc at the front and you have a drum brake to the back and these have the Kenda 10 inch tyres on them so the original 12 inch Echo Plus is no longer available just the standard Echo but there are loads of 50cc scoops out all the geared ones unfortunately including the Cypher have all been discontinued until beginning of next year but with the Lexmoto Echo you've got a rack you can put a small top box on there 32 litre loads and loads of leg space now you may notice that there's bolts there we don't put the caps on until a couple of days before when I have done the final bolt check of absolutely every bolt on this bike and as you can see most bolts that I do check all the primary bolts I mark with a little red marker which washes away in normally a couple of months but everything's got a little red marker on it so we know that everything has been bolt checked which is what I do now two storage pockets plenty of room in there to put your mobile phone there is a USB charger here and a little pocket off to the right so you can put your gloves or your cleaning cloth or your disc lock in there nice and easy start button horn indicator lights that is all you need nice big speedo now it's only does 30 mile an hour which is one o'clock fuel gauge indicators main beam and engine light and off those mirrors just look at the view you get off those mirrors a nice wide view off the mirrors from behind rear brake front brake that's all you need on a 50 cc and you can ride one of these if you're i think it's pre 2004 you can ride these on a car license with your granddad's rights and you don't need a cbt which is ideal but it's an ideal little thing just to get backwards and forwards to school backwards and forwards to work or your little weekend a nip to the shops there's plenty of room you can stick a top box go and get your loaf of bread pint of milk your newspaper now pulling away from zero to 30 woof woof <laughs> dogs don't like motorbikes Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, around about 10 seconds for you to get to 30 mile an hour, which is about the standard for most 50cc bikes. And it'll get to 30, and as always with a 50cc, it'll hit that brick wall and won't go any faster. Climbing a hill on these, you're looking about 20, 25 mile an hour. It's not going to go much faster, guys. It's a 50cc. It's a design to get you around town in the 30s. Now, with these 10-inch tyres, it handles very well. Never had a problem with the Echoes. I do love these little 50cc bikes. It makes a change for me being out. And the most I can do is 30. But I enjoy being out nice and slow. And it's very easy to see all your telltales just look down there's all your telltales great view of the road nice seating position and my legs are tucked neatly in there so i do have plenty of leg room even if i had longer legs i'm a little bit taller i wouldn't have a problem riding one of these so whether you're five foot two up to six foot two it's not going to make a lot of difference because there is loads of leg room on those echoes you will swamp it if you're a bigger rider and obviously weight comes into it so the heavier the rider the slower it's going to go but most 16 year olds are sort of 10 stone wet as we say but it puddles around town great now 30 mile an hour road dominate the lane sit out in the middle because it's 30 mile an hour they can't go any faster than what you're going so you can dominate the lane sit out in position two on a dual carriageway and yes i take these down a dual carriageway sit in position one keep yourself out of the way but considering most of the uh, roads in milton keynes are all dual carriageways and you're not going to find any single lanes around milton keynes you have to take a dual carriageway but sit in position one so we're going to have a little uh, jaunt around town and ride this bike and while we're doing that i can waffle on what we did at the weekend so 
Saturday, a nice long day at the garage. I went off Saturday afternoon after we finished at two and went over to J&S Sports in Findon, which is Northamptonshire. And if you saw the saga of my boots that I uh, bought, I bought a lovely pair of boots and we can't go that way so we're gonna have to go all the way around and we'll go around the corner and down the back so where's this highway van going come on you're doing 20 mile an hour and he's not got a clue in the world where he is going right we're going to scoot up here and take a shortcut so, ended up uh, obviously out on the uh, the ride with Simon Rhythmic and all the crew last Sunday, including Slow Bones. Got my new boots on, we got halfway there and something on the left hand side of the bike went pop. Oh, what's that? What have I done to the bike? Looked down and I'd blown the zip out of my left boot. The zip had literally just fell apart. Wait here until the green light shows and I can go that way. That is good. I should have gone down the next one. But I will sit here and wait while a digger boy decides he's going to uh, dig up all the road. And I pity the people that need to park in front of their houses because they're not going to get through. Oh, very clever. So, we took the boots back on Saturday and you've just jumped the... Uh, the light mind you we might have been waiting for digger boy right let's scoot best thing about these you can scoot between the road bumps so we went back to JNS on Saturday just gone and had a look around took me boots back I rev and do you want another pair yes please okay I'll go and get your brand new pair off the shelf buddy don't worry about it and grabbed them and while I was there looking at them I said you know what I actually like the grey ones well a little bit more money they're 140 quid and I went do you know what extra bit of money you don't scrimp on safety equipment and uh, well you got 60 to come back off your other boots so just another 80 to pay and I ended up buying a load of extra bits and pieces and uh, swap me Nox armor. <laughs> I have now got silver Nox armor, chainmail armor coming, as they call it. So I've got the Nox Urban Free at £249, which is very nice. So I've got Nox armor coming. That should be here this week, and it means that I can just whack it on underneath my uh, work jacket and ride. But I ended up buying a pair of really nice boots and the company's called Sparda which is these ones let's just have another quick look round and there we go that's the Sparda so grey suede whether they uh, survive garage life with all the oil and dirt and grease I don't know but I'll try and keep them clean but they are very very comfortable and they come right up the side of my ankles which protects my uh, feet so you don't scrimp on safety gear and then obviously yesterday we had a nice little run down to Woburn Abbey go and look at the video and we ended up at Pure Triumph in Woburn with Paul and all the boys and lovely lovely guys at Pure Triumph and they get all my bits of Rocky for me and give me advice of what's coming out sat on the new Tiger 12 lovely but I like my old one I like my Gen 1 had a little bit of uh, food at Emma's Cafe and um, while I was sat there lo and behold one of the guys came out he said hello Rev he said uh, I couldn't ask a favour could you go, yeah, I'll do favours for anybody as long as it doesn't involve me giving away money but my time's always there well we're doing this charity run and it's this coming Sunday and we're going to Tetworth in Oxford for Rosie's Rainbow Trust. Now, Rosie's Rainbow Trust, go and Google it. So they help um, disabled, handicapped and terminally ill children to have a better life. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm always one for doing charity stuff. Oh, is it just a charity ride? It's a fiver to enter. 
but all the money off the charity ride goes into the charity they don't pocket anything so really really interesting i thought yeah we're all up for that and any chance you can advertise it of course i can not a problem at all did you uh, want me to put it on all my uh, bike pages that i'm on well if you could we obviously uh, did ask another moto vlogger but he said no and i went oh, okay yeah i'm quite happy to advertise it and get in on it and he went oh brilliant i said well i'm not a massive channel i'm only five thousand subs you know i'm not like 50 million or but it doesn't really bother me if i've got five subs or 50 million i'll give it a plug mate but, oh lovely thank you very much and within 10 minutes of sitting at triumph woven putting it uh, online for them which annoyed everybody because i was on my phone it's it went absolutely nuts and he came out and said oh i can't thank you enough i said well you know motor vloggers will do this well we asked this certain motor vlogger and uh, we've messaged him we've emailed him four times let me get around this cyclist yay and he's not replied to us oh, he's probably a busy man uh, which moto vlogger did you uh, message and it's if you know that i've got i've got a certain dislike of one moto vlogger yes it was him they'd messaged him um and he couldn't be bothered to even reply or put a message up and, and it's in his neck of the woods it's oxfordshire so yep yeah, i've done it for them and they're very happy people so watch out for the charity ride coming up next sunday we'll do a nice long charity ride a little bit about rosie's rainbow trust i'm always happy to help out charities and it takes 10 seconds of your time just to put a little thing up post on your page and go well, this charity i've got a ride out uh, if you wanted to uh, come along and uh, obviously if you don't want to go but at least give the damn thing a plug but no, it was the I couldn't be asked attitude because I'm sponsored by massive bike shops. So sod him, absolutely sod him. That's why I say. And you all know about the motor vlogger that I'm talking about. So next Sunday, Tetworth, and the link is on my Revbomb page on Facebook. So if you are up for a ride, <coughs> obviously 125s are welcome, but be respectable, guys. And keep the front wheel down, keep the noise down and keep yourself safe and you're quite welcome to come along anyone being a bit of a dick will get chucked off of the ride as you would expect right echo's going well we are 7k in a few more we're going to rack up to about 10 and then we're going to get it back to the garage and i'm going to move on to my next five bikes of the day yes tuesday it's bike day all day apart from one mot at two o'clock this afternoon on a car but most of my day today is going to be bikes and i am going to be rebuilding that kawasaki zr 1100 we've done one bank of the carbs and we are on to the second third and fourth today but i've spread it over a couple of days that's what i need to get to work one of those big big tractor just drive over the top of everybody else's car that would solve the problem that would make a lot of fun on uh, your daily run to work just i've got a tractor i'm just going to drive straight over the top of your car right we are away at 30 mile an hour <coughs> Right, dual carriageway, position one, and watching the uh, the cars in the rear view mirror. Come on, little bike. <coughs> but these are an absolute ideal blast for just blitzing around town. And the best thing with these, you can filter through traffic. But literally run it, just whack that throttle wide open. Thank you very much. Bloody taxi drivers. Should have dominated the lane there really, but what do you expect? It's a Skyline taxi driver. Absolute dick. I'll tell you what, if he's in town, he's going to get a bloody mouthful. If I wasn't on a customer's bike, I would have toe-punted the door. <laughs> right, 
right. Round the corner we go. <clears throat> I'm just hoping my cup of coffee is still warm by the time I get back to the garage. And stuck behind another learner. Lovely. So, while we're uh, heading back to the garage, what's planned for this week? Well, Toxic Throttle Club is now, rather than being once a month, is now going to be twice a month. Our next meet for us is going to be the 10th of September, which is going to be good. The same day that I have my alarm fitted on the bike. So I've got alarm and tracker going on the bike. We did look at the data tool. I did say on the Woven video we're going for the uh, data tool S5. After chatting with Andy and Steve that were up at Woven with me yesterday, Steve on his KTM, Andy on the GS, they both said to me, no, don't buy a data tool. The amount of uh, data tools that Darren has had to take off, which is Darren Spears of HBB, and Darren fits trackers, it's the amount of data tools that Darren's had to replace. Now, get the bike track, because it's controlled by your ignition. Oh, marvellous. You don't get a fob. Turn the ignition off, and <clears throat> the best bit is, obviously, when I wheel the bikes in and out every night, as soon as you move the bike, the tracker will go off. He said, what you can actually do on your app is set what's called a geo zone. So you put a, a 20 meter area around the garage on your map. And if the bike stays within that geo zone, the tracker doesn't go off. Like that idea. But it's another 100 quid, so 400 quid. Come on. Where the hell are we going? It's your right of way, you plum. All the gear, no bloody idea. God, there's some crap drivers around today. Right, test ride is complete. We've got uh, 9k on the bike, which is good for the test ride for the first part, which means five miles. Put 10 miles on every bike. That's back in this afternoon for its final bulk check. And then we've got final ride in a couple of days and you're just going to pull out at 20 mile an hour and just get on my absolute wick. And I'm not going to say anything about women drivers, honestly. Right. We are back in here, around the corner and back to the garage. So test ride's complete, Little Echo runs absolutely lovely. Whatever you're doing this week, have yourself a good one. If you are riding, be well, ride safe, there's Rocky. And as always, it's a big goodbye from me.